Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we'll be doing a review of the Rockcat Kane 200. So as you can see here, I have the Rockcat Kane 200 unboxed. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. In this video, we'll go over all the different features on the Kane 200, including the LEDs, Swarm, which is the software you use to customize all the buttons and the settings on this mouse, and then I'll share my experience with it and give you my opinion on the Kane 200. Now, before we get too far into this review, I do want to thank Rockcat for sending me the Kane 200 for free so that I could test it out. Thank you very much for that. So a quick overview of some of the features of the Kane 200. You have these really nice RBG LEDs that change colors and also sync up with other Rockcat devices. The Kane 200 is wireless with up to 50 hours of battery life which is really kind of awesome considering this has constantly changing RBG LEDs, both in the scroll wheel and in the little palm area up here. But it also has a one millisecond report rate, meaning that every millisecond, this mouse is reporting to your computer its location based on the sensor on the bottom. So it's doing a lot of communication with your computer, which means it's very sensitive. So it's really cool that it has 50 hours of battery life. And then when it comes to the sensor here, it has 18,000 DPI. So this is gonna be very sensitive. When you move around, you'll be able to do good sniping in games or just have a really quick response when you move it to try to change positions in a game, things like that. Now in the box, you get a really nice high quality six foot long nylon braided cable, which prevents it from tangling. It does have a nice Velcro strip included on it for organizing. And the type A connector that goes into your computer has a nice cane logo. Now this is charged via a micro USB cable, but as you can see, the little plastic piece on it is proprietary and that allows you to actually put it in the mouse to use it as a wired mouse while you're charging it. So if the battery dies, you can still use it and you won't have any issues with the charging cable getting in the way, anything like that. Now, if your battery's charged, you would just have this dongle in your computer so that the Kane 200 can communicate with your computer. Also included in the box is what they call a micro dock. So you just put the dongle in here and then you plug the charging cable into it so that you have a very good line of sight. You don't have the mouse too far away from the wireless transmitter if it was in like the back of your computer or something like that. So that's pretty cool there as well. So taking a closer look at the LEDs on the Kane 200, they are very beautiful very vibrant and they get really bright. The LEDs can be controlled within the app and we'll go over that a little bit later. They also are compatible with Emo, which is the intelligent lighting system from Rockcat. But when taking a closer look at the mouse, at the bottom here, you have three pads that allow it to move smoothly on your mouse pad or maybe a desktop, anything like that. They're also pretty easy to clean. Two buttons on the bottom as well. You have a pairing button just to have it connect to the dongle that you plug into your computer and then an on and off switch, which is really easy to control. Really like that. The sensor here has a pad around it that allows for more smooth movement. And then the sensor is also pretty far within the actual mouse. So you don't have to worry about it scratching or getting hit by anything on your desk. Over on the left side, we have two buttons. This will be for your thumb to use, which are programmable. And they're actually really big, so really easy to touch when you have the mouse in your hand. And you do get some really nice tactile feedback, as well as you can hear that little click, which is always really cool. At the top, you have your standard left and right mouse buttons, which are really large, so you won't have to worry about not being able to press them. And your entire finger will sit on top, so you can be very quick when you're trying to actually hit them. And then at the top, you also have a scroll wheel. It does have that nice illuminated light around it. And the scroll wheel has really nice grips on it, make it really easy to move and you can feel all the little positions on it as you move it. They also have a DPI button up here, which allows you to quickly switch through different DPI settings that you configure in the Swarm app. Now, basically what that does is just change the sensitivity of the mouse when you move it, which is really cool. And we'll get into that later. On top of all that, on the top here, you have a really nice textured slate metal that just kind of looks cool, adds a nice accent to it. And as you can see, it is reflective as well. Now, really my experience so far with this mouse is the size is really great. It is kind of a larger mouse. I tend to be more of a finger gripper when it comes to my mouse. So I don't really lay my palm on the back of the mouse. And I found that really the size of it allows me to have more control. So I can still grip with my fingers, but my palm still rests on the back of the mouse. And that kind of helps prevent some discomfort. So when I'm moving it around, I have full control over it, more anchor points on the mouse so that it, my hand doesn't get tired or anything like that. Like I was saying, the buttons are very long and also you know when you push them because you get some nice tactile feedback as well as some nice sound out of it as well. You can hear that clicking. 
Now these buttons and the scroll wheel and everything on the mouse can be extremely sensitive, which is almost a little bit too sensitive for me, which is great because you can turn all that down and customize that all in the Swarm app. So let's go ahead and move over to my computer. I'll show you the Swarm app. You can kind of see what is available there as well as the options for the RGB LEDs on the mouse. All right, so as you can see, I have Rockcat Swarm open and this is the software you use to not only change the settings and control the lights on your Kane 200, but you also update the firmware, everything like that. Now, before we get into the settings here, I just wanna go over kind of the layout of Swarm. At the top, if you have multiple Rockcat devices, you will see those there. So you would control all of those through the same app. It's really nice, I like that. And then at the bottom, you can have different game profiles set up. So say you have your Kane 200 set up for an FPS game, then you have it while you're editing video, you can have them all set up and then quickly switch between them through the profiles set up in the Swarm app. So really nice there. Now they have four different tabs with the settings, button assignment, illumination, and then advanced settings. Let's start in the settings here. We'll quickly just go through what they have, but one of the cool things about this app is if you don't know what it is, there's an eye next to it where if you hover over it, it gives you an explanation. So we have the controls for the sensitivity on it, including vertical scroll speed, the horizontal tilt speed, double click speed, and then your Windows pointer speed. Over to the right, we have a DPI switcher, and that's where you're gonna use the button on the actual Kane 200 to cycle through your pre-configured DPI settings. So if you wanna turn up the DPI all the way up to 16,000 DPI, which would be extremely sensitive, you can do that here, activate it, and then you can switch to it very quickly using the DPI button. And just so you can hear what it sounds like when you use the DPI button, it'll say what DPI you're at. So you can hear that right here. I'll press the button. 3,200 DPI, 400 DPI. You can see it switch up here. 800 DPI, 1,200 DPI, 1,400 DPI. And it changes the sensitivity respectively. So I think that's really cool. It makes it very easy. If maybe you're in game, you're sniping, you want to move to a higher DPI, you can do that and ensure you're on the correct DPI. Moving over to button assignment, this is where you can customize the buttons, everything from the two buttons on the left to your left and right buttons and the scrolls, including if you scroll up and down what that does and if you select the scroll button. And with assigning these buttons, you can do everything from macros, you can have timers set up, multimedia to play maybe a song or a sound on your stream, configure it to reboot or lock your computer. You can do a lot of things with these and you can even use them to change the DPI. So if you wanna use the DPI button for something else and have button six control your DPI, you can move all those things around and change it. In the illumination tab, this is where we can change how the lights change and the colors. If you use the Emo Intelligent Lighting System, it'll do it automatically. What I like about that is if you have another Rockcat device that is compatible with that, the lights will change at the same time together between the devices, which is really cool looking. They also have several different options. Most of them are just in the way that the lights change. So wave, fully lit, heartbeat, it'll pulse in and out, breathe, blink, and then you can use it as a battery indicator as well. And when you select one of these, you have the, not only the option to change the speed of the light changing, you can change the brightness. So if you wanna save your battery life, you can do that there. And you can change the colors, select different colors, gradients, things like that, so really cool. And you can also have the scroll wheel and the light on the palm be different colors as well. Moving to the advanced settings, you get some battery status. and You can add a status to your tray down in the bottom right of your Windows computer if you wanted to. You can see the signal strength, which is really important for ensuring you have the best response rate. If you wanna kinda of conserve the battery life on it, you can have an automatic standby mode turn on where it turns off the lights, turns off the sensors, and then you also have an energy saving mode, which will turn on basically a battery saving mode when it hits a certain low percentage rate. On the right here, we have some more advanced sensitivity settings for your polling rate, angle snapping, sound feedback. So you can enable that sound feedback for when you're changing your DPI or changing the volume, zero debounce, distance control units, and then do a factory reset on all the settings for the Kane 200. You can also use this to set up different macros within games. As you can see, they have tons of games built in. So you can do all that within the Swarm app. 
And that's everything within Rockcat Swarm. Overall, I really like the Kane 200. I think it's an awesome wireless mouse for gaming at a price of only $80. You get a lot of customization within the buttons and the settings for the sensitivity, and you get 50 hours of battery life with the LEDs, which is just kind of crazy for a wireless mouse. With my experience with it, I found it to be a very comfortable mouse to use. The sensitivity is awesome when you're in game. You can really move over real quickly. And I found that I was more reactive when playing games because I could move quicker. And I also had more accuracy when doing things such as sniping. I also like that the settings can be changed with the profiles there. So if I wanna switch over to a less sensitive configuration to allow for video editing or image editing on my computer, I can do that and I don't have to worry about it ruining my settings that were preset for my favorite games. So that was the Rockcat Kane 200. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.